Yo, what's going on, everybody? Los here, come back at you with another video. And of course, it's another unboxing video. So, if you want to know what I got, you know what to do. Hop on that train, take a journey with me. All right, so we're back. And like I said, another unboxing video. And um, I've been on a pretty good variant uh, kick as of late. Just for some reason, uh, I, they've caught my attention again. Um, I was collecting a lot of variants um, in the past. I kind of stepped away from that and started collecting some other uh, like key issues and stuff like that. But I've kind of gone back a little bit. There's some variants that I wanted to get not because there was like any like huge significance to them it's just the artist um these are some of the artists that i i like and admire and i just want to collect some of their better works and here these are some of those works so uh i normally collect a lot of marvel uh but i do collect everything marvel dc independent so um, I don't want people to feel like, oh, man, I only collect Marvel and you only see a bunch of Marvel variants. It's really only because Marvel kind of puts out more variants than most people uh, or most companies. Like DC will put out a few variants, like three or four variants for a cover, whereas like Marvel will put out like 10 or something like that. Um, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Uh, they, it kinda, I kind of skew towards that just because there's so many Marvel variants. But in this particular video there would be much more dc love and particularly uh wonder woman so uh magic lasso my friend ryan over at magic lasso check out his channel um he's definitely gonna appreciate these so without further ado let's crack open the first package all right so we're back. Um, this package came from Canada. So it was a seller on eBay. Um, they had quite a bit of this title that I was looking for, this Wonder Woman title and these variant covers. So I reached out to them and I was like, hey, what would you do if I got a bundle, you know, a few of these books? Because they're coming from Canada, I didn't want to pay too much shipping. So if you bundle them together, you get a good deal. So they were able to give me a discount on per book. And then on the shipping because i was able to bundle together so i was able to get five issues from the same vendor uh so i was able to knock out a nice chunk of this run and um wonder woman uh there was one I, i'm not sure if it was like volume three or four or something like that but it got to a point where it went from like issue one to like 32 and then it skipped all the way to like 600 or something like that and in that 600 run there was the one in ten variants by alex garner and they don't mention that it's a one in 10 variant. You just have to know that it's a variant. Um, and um, so I love the covers that he did. And uh, obviously 614 is the largest, the biggest one, it's the most expensive one. And uh, I'll show that here. Uh, but I have that one already and I wanted to get the rest of them. And um, most of them are not too expensive. I'm not trying to pay too much for them. Uh, but again, when you can bundle them, it makes it even better. And um, while we're talking about that, let's throw up that guy right there. So we're going to throw up the comic cam. So hopefully you can see these guys a little better. And the first one up is Wonder Woman 605. And again, it's just a nice 1 in 10 Alex Garner variant. And like I said, these, these covers are just awesome. But you need to know what you're looking for because they're not going to say variant on the cover. So I'm not sure the year that these were i'll kind of look them up uh, 2011. so back then dc really wasn't actually putting like variant on the cover so you had to know that they were a variant cover <laughs> um so there's 60 and now we got 606. So like i said just gorgeous covers um i didn't particularly read um this title i just love the covers um you know what can i say uh there's sometimes i read books sometimes i just buy books for the covers i just love the art i like alice garner i think he's an underrated artist and um i just want to show him some love and i also want to show some dc love 
And then we also have 607. So this one is actually not an Alex Gardner cover. It's very similar. Um, I forgot the artist's name, um, and I will kind of put that up here above me. Um, but it was in the 1 in 10 line, and I just wanted to pick it up just to have the whole run. And like I said, when you can bundle it, it makes it even cheaper. Why not? And now we have 608, and we're back to the Alex Gardner covers. And like I said, just an awesome, uh, you know, cheetah cover there. So just, yeah, just sick, sick cover. And the last one was 610. So I believe they had some other issues as well. Uh, but when I looked at the condition, they just weren't what I wanted. So like I said, they're not very expensive. So if I'm going to pay a little more premium, I want them to be at least near mint or better. And most of these are. They're pretty much near mint, not one spine tick on them, stuff like that. So uh, happy to pick these up and, you know, get a little closer to finishing this Wonder Woman uh, run. So this one in 10. And now on to the last variant cover. And we're back to Marvel on this one, but this one is actually pretty cool. All right, so we're back with one that you don't see too often, or at least I haven't seen them that often. Um, there might be a few listed now on eBay. Uh, I got this one at an auction. I think I got it for a pretty good price, and uh, you know, looks pretty good. It could obviously use a press, but this is a one in fifty uh, Nova number thirteen, the Frank Cho variant, and this is. If anybody's seen the movie The Graduate, uh, this is an homage to that, um, the, you know, a scene from that movie or the poster or something like that. Uh, but I thought this was just really cool that it's the uh, Nova, um, um, Sam Alexander, he's a younger uh, Nova, and you have Beta Ray Bill there, like, kind of covering his eyes with, you know, the, the lady, you know, getting dressed there, so... I thought it was a cool cover. I love Frank Cho. Uh, he's one of my favorite artists. And when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I have to pick it up. Like I said, I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, variant covers are not their thing. Uh, they just want the A covers or whatever it is. And But I love variant covers. I think if they're done right, they add to the art style of comics, right? You, you have a, ch a chance to add a different type of like art to a cover where like sometimes the regular a covers could be nice and they could be part of the story but sometimes i just like the artwork and um you know frank cho is amazing and um i thought this was just a, a funny cover and i'm definitely happy to add this to the pc hopefully i can get him to sign this because that's this will be one that i will get signed to keep in the pc all right so those were all the books that i picked up for this uh haul uh let me know what was your favorite down below until next time, talk to you guys later. Peace.